Brigadier General Robinson Reisner died October 22nd at his home in Bridgewater, Virginia. Today, Reisner is being buried in Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. General Reisner was one of the most decorated and celebrated jet fighter aces in Air Force history. During the Korean War, Reisner flew more than 100 combat missions, becoming America's 20th jet ace by shooting down eight Soviet-made MiG fighters. After the war, he was chosen to fly an F-100 Super Saber named the Spirit of St. Louis II to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's transatlantic flight. Major Risner, in piloting the new Super Saber from the West Coast factory to McGuire Air Force Base, set an unofficial cross-country record. Now he's out to better officially the transatlantic crossing record. He did it in six hours and 37 minutes, a fifth of Lindbergh's time. In Vietnam, General Reisner received the Air Force Cross for bravery, Time magazine put a portrait of him on the cover of its April 23, 1965 issue as an example of the modern American warrior. Afterwards, his jet was shot down in Vietnam and Reisner became a prisoner of war. I will always remember Robbie Reisner and the inspiration that he provided to those of us who had the honor of serving with him. He inspired us to do things that we otherwise would never have been capable of. And Robbie Reisner will live in the memory of all of us who honor genuine American heroes. General Reisner received another Air Force Cross for his gallantry as a prisoner of war. His many other medals include the Air Force Distinguished Service Medal, the Silver Star, and the Distinguished Flying Cross. General Reisner was 88 years old and leaves behind his loving wife Dorothy, his six children, and 14 grandchildren. In life, General Robinson Reisner honored the flag, and in death, the flag now honors him. Reporting from Arlington National Cemetery, I'm Staff Sergeant Peter Ising.